Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, this video today is around early excellence, okay? And it's the parent guide about observations for your child and how you can access them online. So what is EXAT? EXAT is Early Excellence Assessment Tracker. It's a web-based program which has an app attached that we can make observations of your child and we can um, share this with you, parents, and we can also make our assessments. So we do termly assessments for the, each child and at the end of the year, you will get a report. It also is good if your child moves up from our under threes provision into our over threes and that record is transferred over to the new key person and we can see progress from when your child has started with us. So how do we get to know your children? Okay, so if your child has been to a previous setting, we will talk to them about your child and see what their interests are and how we can support them. If they have brought records with them, we will look at those too. We will talk to you at your parent meeting with your key person uh, to find out more about yourself, your family and your child and the things they like to do and things that they might need support with. We talk to your child at the visit. We also talk to your child when they come into our provision and we spend a lot of time with your children. They have an allocated key person who they spend time with and we play alongside your child and get to know them and try to and aim to support their interests and move their learning forward. And this is um, through our planning in the moment, which we discussed in our welcome meeting with families. Um, in addition to plan sessions, we, we do for phonics and for maths and for other strategies that we use at Roland Hill. So we observe your child playing and talking to, talking to others, um, their interactions with other adults and how they're getting on within the provision and um, how they demonstrate their independence and their characteristics of learning, which I'll go into for later on. Okay, so look, listen and note. So sometimes we will make a note of something your child does and it helps us with our assessments that we do each term. So we've already been making assessments of your children to create our baseline assessment, which is their on entry. So where they are as they've joined us. So we can then see how we move your child forward and plan for their next steps. We take videos, um, photos, and sometimes just um, narrative notes that we um, then prompt us when we're going to do our assessments. But then they're equally good to, to share them with you and you can see that the learning that your child is doing at home. Okay, so this is what the web page looks like. You can see the evidence is there and there's this observation notes. So the key person would have uh, wrote, written some notes around what's been happening, the context for this um, image. We attach statements for areas of learning, um, as well as like I was talking about characteristics of effective learning. So playing and exploring, you can see here is as curiosity. Um, we also have active learning where the children are kind of engaged in a particular activity. It might be something that's been led by an adult or by their peers or by themselves. And then we have crit uh, creating and uh, thinking critically, which is where we see the children really moving their learning forward and being creative. We also do the areas of learning. So we look at communication and language, personal, social, and emotional development, physical development. There are prime areas. And then we also look at literacy, maths, understanding the world and expressive arts and design. At the end of the year, we create a learning journal for your child and this is shared with you. We print this off for you and you'll be able to access it online too if you've um, registered with the programme. So we will take, we will select some photos that we really think demonstrate your child's characteristics of learning. We will also include a statement from the key person just talking about how your child has been pro progressing over the year. So for you to be involved, if you register on this programme, you are able to access your child's learning journey. You can comment on the learning journey and you can print it. You can also share your own information, which is ideal for us here. So you can take a photo, you can just write a note, and then this will be um, sent to your uh, be added to the program and your key person will get a notification and then they can look at this with your child um, to talk about and they can also use it to inform their assessments each term. So this morning we gave out these um, slips and if you come in the afternoon we'll be giving them out then. I understand there was a few parents that maybe didn't have um, their slips but that has been resolved so everyone should have one. If you have any issues um, with 
registering online, please come and see uh, myself or Sean or Tony at the gate and we can help you. Um, and if you lose your code, then we can um, resolve that and email you another one. So you will go onto the web page, ideally via Chrome, so exat.com. Then you can register as a parent. As you can see, there's a gray button there. And you will use your code as well as um, adding your own password, email address, and your details to register. When you have registered, there will be a dashboard. So if you have more than one child, it will give you each child. There's a help guide for parents, which we have actually emailed to you today. And then you'll be able to look at the evidence that has been uploaded by your child's key person. So this is if you have more than one child in the setting, you can view their evidence. You can also submit evidence. And this is what it would look like if you go on the website. Now you are invited to share some um, photos um, or observations of your child. So you can upload them onto a computer, but a bit further on, we'll look at the app, which might be easier. So many people use their phones to take photos of their children, um, and then you can upload them straight away, which is really nice and simple via the app. So here's some more information that might be required by the website. And there's also frequently asked questions as tab on the top of the screen, so it can help you answer any questions. The parent guide also has a lot of information for you. So the app is available on App Store and Google Play. And if you search XAT, it should come up and install. And this is what it might look like on your phone. So as you can see, it's quite a simple interface, um, quite easy to use. So here you can look at the evidence that has been uploaded by your child's key person. You can view that and possibly comment. And then equally, you can take a photo or record a video or just type a note about something that they've been doing. It'd be really lovely if we can have some photos or videos or even just comments about things that you've been doing at home. So, at, you know, when we're at school and you collect your child, sometimes they might say they haven't done anything at school yet. If you register with this and you can see the learning that they've been doing, we don't record everything because we want to spend most of our time with the children. So we'll be really taking snapshots of some really significant learning or when they are a focused child. And then we'll be meeting with you for our parent meetings to discuss their learning there. So sometimes we'll ask them what they've been doing at the weekend and they may not tell us or over the holidays. So if you could share some photos or videos of lovely things that you've been doing, and that will create a really nice prompt for us to engage with your child and talk more about what they've been doing outside of school. And there may be things that they're interested in doing outside of school, but maybe they don't present when they're in school. So we've given you your exact code. So if you go to exact.com, you can register your details. Do this on the web page first. And then once you've done that, then you can go to the app store and download the app. And then you should just be able to log in with the details you've created on the web page. So if you've got any questions about the system and you're not sure how to use it or how to register, please come and see myself, Sean or Tony when we're at the gate. Um, again, you can check the frequently asked questions if you have been able to log in, but you're not sure how to interact with the program. And then if you forget your password, there is a link to reset your password, which is really helpful. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you very much. Um, goodbye.